I heard it snap and I thought, I'd watch Scott do it in two. I, I can do it in three. I'm good here. <laughs> What is wrong with that? That was on the floor. He's going to hyperventilate. He's on the ground. You'll have that. Look what you did to the tree. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> to the channel rebel boulevard i think rebel boulevard might be that or it might be this i'm not really sure there are some really nasty climbs here in the last video we'll just went up and down that this is uh i think i might fill this one out see how the machine feels and give you a little bit of perspective here it's probably hard to tell it's taller than me and then you got a double ledge up there that's probably about two feet tall again um, terrible for wheelbase probably gonna belly but it won't hurt to at least get up on here get my tires muddy and um, see if we can't make something happen here so I think that's up first right here in the beginning of the video I'll be on this here in a minute okay. Jesse.
the throttle. Axle's done though. Oh, there went there went a the driver. Passenger front. All right, we're gonna check this out. on operator error when installing our new diff that we're testing I ripped the bolts out I'm gonna assume that I didn't have them maybe in or tight and they pulled out not really sure so I think what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to run back to camp Scott has a tap and die set can Tim has drill? some drill bits we're gonna see if maybe we can drill it out because I, I ripped some aluminum out Oh, I can see it there on the ground. You can see it right there. So I don't want a chance. We noticed a uh, when I backed off that, we noticed like a kind of like a thud or a, I don't know what the noise would be called, a tick. Tick. And they noticed that the these bolts were still in, but they were loose, and the diff was was going like this, and it ripped a few of the threads out. So rather than chance it, I must have just not tightened them up the whole way, and it must have been in there just. A little bit and it ruined some of the threads so rather than chance and I think we're gonna go back try to open it up maybe put a half inch bolt instead of what are these uh, it might be three eighths m12 yeah, yeah it's, it's roughly about a three eighths size so, so three yeah. eighths so we'll try to go up to half inch and see if that works the back ones are tight but I'm not sure if it's a 10 or a 12 it's one of the two okay so that's the plan We'll see you back here in a minute. <laughs> a little bit longer for us. <laughs> okay, we're back at camp. We're going to pull the diff. We're going to see if we can drill out the holes and maybe put some bigger bolts in it. Um, it's unfortunate testing a brand new diff uh, setup. This is the first ride on it. Um, so, and I just put that in. I think I put the diff in two days ago. So, unfortunate that happened. Hopefully, it was my fault probably was I probably didn't either didn't tighten the bolts after I put them in or something so off camera we're gonna see if we can do that so you guys don't see what we have or our competitors don't see what we have yet and uh, we'll see if we can fix it if not I do have a spare halo I do have a uh, another machine up there that we could use but I really want to keep testing this so we'll be back here in the next clip hopefully with this thing fixed Alright, so diff is back in and fixed. We just drilled them out, put bigger bolts in the front, and uh, made sure that we had enough thread in this time. After getting the bolts out and looking at it and looking at the bolts in the back, um, so as you can see, I added plates underneath. I showed that in a video prior, um, probably a couple months back, because my, my bolts ripped through my frame. So I plated it and I made it deeper made the mistake of not getting long enough bolts and they weren't in the threads far enough so in turn um, I think that's what happened I just didn't have enough thread after looking at the uh, the bolts where where are those bolts at I should have one around here somewhere uh, yeah right here here's one so this is what I had in there and if you can see the dirt stops right at my middle finger so I had about three eighths to maybe a half inch of thread in um, an aluminum housing which if you know anything about that you know that's not good not not, not the best scenario <laughs> no so um, I think we're good to go now we got it back in we're gonna be bolting it back together and we're gonna go out and see if we can't get you some more videos to watch I missed getting the camera on but I went down this trail and just literally sliced the mud off right into my side by side
Derek, we found it. There it is. Awesome. It's a trail we've been looking for. here don't look too bad i think we're all just going to take a different line to see what what happens um i'll go straight up the middle someone can go this way someone can go that way and then uh mutiny ridge is that way and i'm not sure what's that way devastation is Devastated. That way. <laughs> <laughs> devastation <laughs> so yeah i think this is just going to be a cool thing to to climb who knows maybe it'll be really hard but it looks like we'll just zillas just love this stuff it yeah, seems really grippy. We'll definitely find out. Yeah. Cooper, what's happening? Dad's gone. come up a little bit slicker than i thought i didn't think we'd have any issues but um i was hoping that it would crawl it but i think going through the mud first um obviously just makes it a little bit slick it's almost like sandstone but it is slick but what we have now is not sherry that is cooper cooper's gonna come up this side i think and uh emma's not with us this weekend because she had some stuff for school that she had to do so we had to come without her, unfortunately. Oh, Sherry's showing Cooper how to lock it in. He's only ever driven mine, which when he was driving mine, it was a halo. You got to put in four wheel drive and then lock the diff. This one, um, all you got to do is just lock it in four wheel drive and you're good to go. You know what a send is? <laughs> just, just stay like a foot or two off that bank and hit it. If you don't, if you don't keep going, just let off the throttle. Hit it. scared me for a second. Oh, I got this. I can back up a little bit. Probably couldn't see mine up here, could you? I didn't think so. All right, back up a hair. Stay on the brake. Just let it coast back. Keep going a little bit. A little bit. Okay, cut. Go forward and cut around. We'll see if we can get you out around mine. There you go. Nice job, Coop. Up, we got Scott. Cooper did good. He come up this.
pretty steep. Scott, I think Scott said he's going to try to take that line, see if it's any different. There is running water over there. Uh, it is a little bit less steep, but you kind of have to turn halfway up. So we'll see, see how he does that. You got Sherry down there with the uh, the new camera filming the the bottom view. I'll come up here and get the top. Um, I don't know, maybe that way. Yeah, yeah, that looks really rough. <laughs> he was spinning coming up there, but it, it didn't slow him down at all. Seems like the, the wet helps. Yeah, it cleans off all the dirt and dust. Yeah, you, you struggle a lot harder on totally dry. Yeah. All right, Tim's coming up. Oh, is Amy riding? Oh yeah. Oh, Amy, um, she hasn't been in our videos in a while. It's Tim's wife. She had a uh, a new hip replaced, or she got her hip replaced with a new one. So six weeks ago. So she's still now she's out here riding. This is her first actually on the trail since we were in West Virginia. Huh? Yeah, yesterday was six weeks. So she's doing really good. Seems like it's healing up good. <laughs> we have Tim up next and then we got Will up here. I'm not sure which which line you taking, Will? Over here? Okay. Will's gonna pick this line over here. Piece of cake. A little bit of momentum. That thing sounds so good. I love this exhaust. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, I think I think Scott and his daughter G are gonna drive around. And I think G's gonna come up to this in Scott's machine, so we'll be back. All right, Scott's down there in the passenger seat. Got his daughter G driving. Gianna. We'll get her coming up this. This place is so cool. A lot of trails that we like really close together. <laughs> nice.
Can you see now? Full 10 point turn. Nice job though. Very nice job. job buddy all right it's sherry's turn she's taking a different line let's see what happens it's going to require a bump. I think you're going to have to back up and bump it. There you go. Yep, you look good. in there. Nice driving, Sherry. This is so cool. Okay. Scott's up. I think he's going to take the same line I did over here. Oh, this is, this is so floppy. Scott, back up. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. A little bit more. Okay, I think you're going to want to send it from there. Thank you. Wow, did he belly hard on that. No, he, he bellied out. His uh, transmission tray hit. Nice job, Scott. He's trailing, he's bought him down on his trailing arm, rear left trailing arm. All right, buddy, nice job. Tim's up, taking the same line Sherry is, I think. Nice job, Tim. Easy work. Made easy work of this spot right here. We're getting it all muddied up. Will was last, unfortunately. The last person usually has it the hardest. They get to pick the line and they see what works and what doesn't work. But they also don't get the best um, uh, environment to do this type of stuff because we either get it muddied up or slicked up. So, But I think Will said he wants to fill this one out and see how this one goes for him. Okay, Will's coming up. 
32 zills, 64 inch machine, 52 wheels, um, and he's running a smart spool with Turner axles. So he's gonna get himself over here on this line and see how it makes out. Come this, come over this way some more. Come this way more. Come up over that rock and get your tire up on there. Okay, now turn in. Okay, straighten out. Come back, come back passenger. Other way. Yep. Bring it on back. Keep coming. Okay. Climb that, climb that big shelf rock right there. Straight up over that. You just want to be on this side of the rock. Yeah, now straighten up. Okay, well, bring it back. Oh, bring it back. Keep coming. That look good, Scott? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Dang. I think I think we just got it too sloppy for him. Maybe hit it straight, like aim straight towards Scott from there. Just get it from like right here, but let out when you get up. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Turn, turn this way. Turn driver. Now try. Hey. Back up a hair. A little bit. A little bit more. Okay. Well. Just bump it straight forward. Yep. Bring it back. A little bit. A little bit more. Okay, well, turn this way and just don't hit the throttle. Just see if you can crawl this way. Yep, go, go. There you go, Bobby. You're going to cut me. Nice job, Will. Thank you, thank you. Good job, buddy. It's all about getting on that line. Yeah. The Take a peek. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, that looks rough. I think we're gonna give it a go. Yeah. We're gonna get some cameras in position. Alright, Jesse's firing her up. 
gonna give her a shot on heartbreaker from what he says it's doable but it looks cool same line I did which is it's a pretty good line it's hard to tell depth on on camera obviously but that's it's probably a two to three foot ledge right there uh, I tried to come in with my tire on that side I just didn't feel like it wanted to go so I come over in here and went that way seems like it has a lot of grip so we'll get Sherry coming up this and then uh, what Scott you're behind Sherry right yeah and then Scott will be up next TV doesn't sound happy. Come up this way. Wow. No. Whoop, almost fell. We're good. just bump through that straighten up okay yep you have to back up and bump it there you go you're hitting your skid plate over there Come, come towards me a little bit. Back up, passenger. Okay, now stay, stay straight and hit it. 
Yeah. That was it. Okay. Could probably afford to stay this way a little bit too. Never mind. That that bank by about an inch is what saved her. Yeah. Alright, on back. Yeah, right there. That looks like a good line. This is a nasty spot. I just gotta turn. Man, I love the sound of that. Probably, yeah, looks good. Sherry are both like 68 wide with our wheels and tires. Scott 72, um, no sway bar, so we'll see how his reacts. Maybe a little bit different than ours did. Um, both of us couldn't really come up that spot, so we had to come up here. We'll see if Scott's any different. Looks like the line. What's that? That looks like the line. Yep. Oh, almost fell. Nice job, Scott. Yep, 
Yep, that's about it. <laughs> yep, that's about it. Nope, nope, something, something ain't right. His front, <laughs> were both tires up front not spinning or just one? Hey, he broke something, Scott. Your driver wasn't spinning. No, you got drive shaft. Did I break the, the rear part? Yeah, you, you spun it right in half. Well, how was that? Was that tire still pulling? We couldn't see this side. Oh. We didn't see this, but we didn't hear anything. So we were Well, I heard something, head. and I just assumed it was an axle. So you just come up that two wheel drive. After, after At some it broke. point, yeah. Whenever it broke. Which was good yeah. to bottom. You did most of when you yeah when you hit it I didn't see a front tire spin at all <laughs> well I heard it snap and I, I looked I could see the driver tire not spinning and I was still climbing so I figured that tire was digging I couldn't see the other side I know good job buddy well I'm, I'm glad it was what happened all right hey we got a spare of that so you got one right I have a spare in yeah, the truck we have we have a spare two of them. Like right over there? <laughs> yeah, about 100 yards that way is the uh, parking lot, so that's good. Um, it's time for an upgrade. Huh? Oh, I twisted it literally right off. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I might I might be able to pull, just pull that right out. Yeah, you can. The back piece. That yeah. way it's not, that's not flopping around. Like mine did. Hey, you might be able to pull the back piece out and then the front piece backwards. All right, we still got to take it out to put one in yeah. either way. All right, cool. So... So, yeah, you know you know yeah that's a that's the first time Scott broke a drive shaft. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. look at that. I didn't even hear it. I, well, I heard it break. I, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> where, where was it on that last little? Yeah. Yeah. His front I tires down on throttle. His front tires were spinning the first hit. Yeah. yeah. His front tires didn't spin the second hit. So okay, somewhere between I, the I two. Thought, but I wasn't. I wasn't really yeah. paying that so much did attention you hear it break to the front. First time? No. No, it broke the second time. I heard it break. When you took off. And then we started going up and she starts screaming. I'm like, yeah, we broke something. Yeah, I was, I was all happy and excited. He's like, we broke. I'm like, don't ruin it. We made it. I love it. Awesome. It was very surprising. All right, here comes Tim. Yeah, it's a squeeze. Yep. That's like, it like pivots you right into the right spot. Yep. A little bit more. Yeah, it usually takes a pretty good, pretty good hit to get up that. Nice job. Nice job. Tim, come come back, come back, driver. Yeah. Okay, straighten up. That's about all you got. Turn that way a bit. I would go straight. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, come back driver. Wow, he was up in the air. Yeah, he was. Was I that high? 
No. That was good, yep. Okay. Maybe try to go a little bit more passenger. I was just gonna say you're in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Straighten up, Tim. Yep. Yep, right there. Yep. Oh, so close. So close. I think he needs just a little bit more. I I think he's on a better line now. He's he's more over that way. Yep. Come on back. A little bit. Okay. Ah. Uh. I'm always in a bad spot. Nice job. Nice. Awesome job. I was getting hit so hard on that one. A little bit more that way. Yeah. And I think that was the ticket. Yeah, you almost. It doesn't want you to go that way, but you almost have to. Yeah. You have to go to the left. Yeah. I mean the right. You got it, buddy. Good job, Tim. Good job, buddy. There's just something that's just not right about this for me. There's just <laughs> something that's just not right about this for me. There's just something that's just not right about this for me. Yeah, Will's coming up in this now. He's in his head about this spot up yeah. here that um, everyone did right here. That you have to pretty much like full send it. He's a little bit worried about it, but I think he's got it. He's uh. He's not afraid to commit. No. He's not afraid to commit. No. Just let it let it pivot you. On back. Yep. Hit it from there. You're hitting a massive rock. Keep coming back. Keep going back. Okay. Go hard. Hard passenger and then cut back. Yeah. Broken axle, yeah. You good? Holy cow! Oh, dang! <laughs> he was all over the place. Holy cow! What happened? My throttle, like, my throttle got caught. Dude, you know what happened? I got your spare in my trailer. Look at the he <laughs> ran into the tree, man. Outer CB. Apart. Look what he did I to the it. bumper. I you heard it. you I bent your bumper. Well, you hit that tree I, pretty hard. I was, I was. Good God. Okay, so. As Dang, as that, Will. Okay, I just realized what happened. Okay. So when that happened here, my, there's there must be something with my rotor because my my brake pedal is like basically to the floor uh, when I was trying to hit it bent your rotor when I was trying to hit it I was on the gas instead of the brake well the the brake was recessed so far on the ground oh. my, my, the side of my 
I get you. I was on Dang. both my feet. I got gotcha. you. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. <laughs> you blew the outer CV. I'm gonna have to build you a new bumper. You know what? I got I really you. Like that one too. Hopefully it didn't go back and hit your radiator though, because it's pretty close. Oh man, I bent that stupid expensive aluminum piece again. <laughs> <laughs> it is touching it. Is it touching the radiator? You could probably, you could probably winch, put yeah, his winch around the tree and like pull that out. Yeah, we could probably do that. I just, I well, at least that, at least it's that. I can cut that off and put a new piece plastic. on. That's no big deal. Dude, you never replaced plastics on these things. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did a plastic delete in the back. I mean, look, look, well, oh, yeah. look at this. Yeah. Maybe it's even now. Hey, last time I said right before you did this, I said, this is a commitment thing and Will commits. <laughs> yeah, he definitely commits. You lived up to that. I'll say that. He didn't even. You committed a little too much. You, no. just, you turned him. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, boom. <laughs> I, saw, I said. You committed a little <laughs> too much. Oh, no. You turned him. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, boom. I'm I'm I heard it snap and I thought I'd watch Scott do it in two. I, I can do it in three. I'm good here. <laughs> well, what is that was on the floor. Try to get a rope He's gonna hyperventilate. He's on the ground. Well, you'll have a hell of these big shots. Uh, look what you did to the tree. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slow mo with from every angle. Oh my god, I wish uh, I was I'm sitting there watching you, and you know, just like calm as could be, sitting in the driver's seat, floor, <laughs> heading straight for the tree. His, his entire <laughs> Saba style, like bunny hop. Oh, he blasted me again. Uh, you know, yet again, I don't know how many climbs you've done. I haven't watched one of them because I'm hiding like this, filming. Hey, Jesse, I'd be hiding too if I'm, I was anywhere but. <laughs> in front, in front, or behind you. I think, uh, I think your machine's like 250 horsepower. I don't think it's 200. <laughs> you <laughs> better, it runs like a rape day. You gotta look for an indent where he pushed the throttle through the body. Well, I, I, <laughs> believe me, I felt the wind. There's the uh, axle ball. Oh. Yeah, you, Weren't you saying something about doing something new with these with these smart schools? Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's got it in mine. Mine didn't do that. <laughs> hey, I this is my drive shaft and a half. I hit a tree real hard. Yeah, All right. So there, I know we're we're a few few videos in. So if the people didn't watch the first one, I think it's Sherry people. Sherry was on her side half an hour into the trip, and then you were on your side an hour into yeah, the trip. Hour. And now, I think we're about six hours into the trip. You two, broke your drive shaft. Two, two I, oh, I broke. Yeah, yeah, right. You broke. You broke. Again. Tim, you're up. Tim, you're next. You're the only one who didn't have any carnage. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, leave me out of this, she said. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, we have to go back and fix a drive shaft and an axle. I can't go anywhere here without that. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Squeak, squeak. All right, everybody's coming up here. We're gonna fix Scott's drive shaft. We're gonna fix Will, uh, his axle. We have a spare axle that was actually his that we borrowed at Ivy and never ended up using. Uh, if you watch those videos, you already know. So we're gonna throw a Cobra spare in his machine. We're gonna throw Scott's spare drive shaft in his, and then we're gonna get back out on the trail and try to get one more video today. It's getting late. It's like four or five o'clock right now. So tune back in. We're gonna go out and see if we can create some more carnage because uh, it turns out that's what we like to do. So thank you everybody for watching these videos. If you've never been to the gulches and you like the harder stuff, you definitely gotta get down here. It is everywhere. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that button so you can come back and get notified with us doing more stupid stuff. Um, all of our channel members, our sponsors, and our patrons up on the screen. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. And um, 
if you're interested in becoming a sponsor, a channel member, or a patron, um, let us know. We have all the links to the description um, in the description below. Uh, channel members, they're on YouTube. It's a couple dollars. It helps support us come out here and do this. And in return, we try to give you guys some uh, behind the scenes footage that usually doesn't make YouTube. Um, so we have some parts to replace. Come back here in the next video. You'll see us doing that and then hopefully going out to hit some more hard stuff. So thank you again. We really appreciate you guys and we'll see you in a couple days.